It's 3.22 in the morning and I'm here at Bristol Airport getting ready to fly to Valletta, Malta to board Piano Cruises Azura for a seven night cruise around Croatia and Greece. After the woman at check-in was unable to find my booking, more about that later, it was a one hour wait for my departure gate. And after buying a £4.99 meal deal from Boots and some toothpaste that I forgot to pack, it was time to head to the gate and take a short shuttle to our waiting plane. And after a 30 minute delay because of a passenger discrepancy, we were on our way to Malta. After arriving in Malta, there were plenty of piano reps to guide us to the coach that would take us to the Azura. After arriving at the terminal, it was a swift process getting checked in, taking less than five minutes in total. And then I was cleared to board the Azura. When I scanned my boarding pass on the ship, I found that this was an invalid pass because my cabin had been changed, but more about that later. After making my way to my new muster station to sign in, it was straight to the buffet, of course, for this delectable meal. And then, it was to outside to enjoy the warm weather of 23 degrees and views of Valletta. And of course, I went to my favorite spot on the ship, deck 19 aft. Unfortunately, I was still in my UK clothes, which were very uncomfortable to some maybe, but I didn't care because I was on holiday. After two and a half hours in the sun, it was time for another meal in the buffet, where I recorded myself eating a wrap for some reason. And then it was time to see where I'd be staying for the next seven nights. All right, welcome everybody to the Piano Azura. I've burnt already. Um, <laughs> why are you doing it now? Good evening, everyone. This is the Officer of the Watch speaking from the bridge. I'd like to wish you all a very warm welcome on board Azura. <laughs> right, yeah, so as I was saying, I've already burnt myself. I've literally been in Malta for no more than six hours and already I've burnt myself. I'm such a tourist. I <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is the cabin that I am going to be staying in. Now, as you saw earlier, my cabin was actually changed. Now, when I went to reception, they told me that my cabin was upgraded which I've never been upgraded before. So originally I was gonna be in cabin E609, which is a partially obstructed sea view grade cabin on deck eight. And now I have been moved to a cabin I cannot remember, hang on a sec. P234, <laughs> I've been moved to P234, which is a standard sea view cabin on deck five. Whether that's upgrade or not, I'm not entirely sure. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, we do have this wonderful view of Malta uh, through the window, which is quite nice. All right, so this is the view out of the window. You can see we're actually quite close to the ground, uh, which is quite strange, actually. I've never had a view this sort of close to the ground before, but we'll see how that goes. So my initial concern of being so far down on deck five, which is actually the lowest deck uh, you're going to have a cabin on is deck five. Um, is it's so far away from everything that I normally use. It's so far away from top deck. It's so far away from the buffet. Come on, the buffet. <laughs> I don't think they could put me any further from the buffet if they tried because I'm deck five forward 
whereas the buffet is deck 16 aft. So I'm literally nearly as far away from the buffet as I can be. Piano, you must be watching my videos. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how I get on with this cabin as it is very different from any one that I've had before. Now, of course, my main concern was that my luggage had the wrong label on it because they changed my room so late. The luggage label on my luggage, God, that's confusing. The luggage label on my suitcase was for the wrong room. It's for my old room. Uh, but when I spoke to the woman in reception, she said that she would deal with that. But has it been resolved? Well, you can probably see actually, because I can see it in there. Yes, my luggage is here. Uh, when I came to the room, the luggage was already here. So it has been dealt with. Of course, that means that I don't have any excuse not to unpack, which is a real shame because I could really do with an excuse to not unpack, but we're going to have to unpack. So I'm going to crack on with that and I'm going to get some aloe vera on my skin because it's quite sore at the moment. <laughs> so. All right. So for those avid cruisers of you out there, I have a little life hack for you. Um, the one thing that always frustrated me about packing is every time you unpack, everything was creased. But I found a solution because what I've done is I've bundled everything together like this. Now, the idea of this is that the clothes, the clothes, the clothes will not be creased. Um, but we're going to see if that's true. So I'm going to um, test that out now. So um, it worked OK. I mean, it's better than better than it normally is. So I guess that's kind of a success, isn't it? All right, so that's the unpacking done. Uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. I don't know whether I'm getting better at it or whether I'm just, there wasn't so much in there, but the unpacker's done. We ain't got to worry about that for a little while. Now, there was an announcement done by the captain whilst I was doing that about our departure. So apparently some of the flights coming in uh, for people to come on the Azura have been delayed in the UK, uh, which means that they were going to be delayed getting on the ship. Um, now, he says there's currently not any estimated time as to when they will get here, but they're saying it could be around two hours. We'll be delayed leaving Malta, which means we'll be leaving closer to 11 o'clock rather than 9 o'clock. That isn't really going to affect me, um, but I don't know if that's going to have any knock-on effects um, going down the line, but I would imagine so because I'll probably just go quicker just to make up the time. Also, well, I'm just going to come around here because as I was unpacking everything around here, I heard this strange noise. I don't know if you've heard it. I'm going to see if I can hear it now. It's like a sort of sloshing sound. There you go. I don't know whether you heard that. So I don't know if that's just like a constant thing or whether that's just a um, a now thing. I don't really know. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, so I definitely didn't fall asleep. Um, <laughs> I think the fact I've been up since 2 a.m. and I was sunburnt. Uh, was that's probably why I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> and I'll tell you something though, this cabin is really noisy. There's a lot of strange noises coming uh, from this cabin, which I guess is to do with the position that we currently are. Um, so we're going to have to see how that goes throughout the week um, because I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle um, to sleep, uh, which isn't ideal, but there you go. B, obviously, so we've missed dinner because uh, it's now 10 o'clock. Um, so it'll be a good chance to check out the um, late night snacks in the buffet. So we'll go do that and um, hopefully we'll be leaving soon um, so we can capture that as well. So that'll be cool. Right, guys, there we go. We are now officially cruising. Croatia, here we come. Now, let's talk about my check-in experience. So when I arrived at Bristol Airport, there was a sign for PO Cruises. So I didn't really think anything of it. 
and I decided to queue up in that queue. And it took me about half an hour to get through that queue. And I got to the woman and I gave her my passport and, and she scanned it and she couldn't find my booking, which you can imagine kind of made me feel a bit nervous. My thoughts were, oh God, I'm not booked on the cruise. Somehow there's been an error or I dreamt it or something. But no, it turns out I was in the wrong line. <laughs> the line that I was in was for the TUI flights, but I was actually flying with Jet 2. So it was a simple mistake, um, and I was told where to go to the um, Jet 2 line, so I went there and actually <laughs> went, to the wrong line, went to the wrong line in Jet 2 as well, because I went to the line where you'd already <coughs> booked in online, uh, which I hadn't done. But that was only a couple of minutes. Then I had to join another queue uh, to then book in manually. So overall, it took me about an hour in order to get checked in. But to be fair, that was kind of my fault. Uh, but it's been kind of one of those days, I think. And obviously, when I got to the ship and they scanned me in, and then they couldn't find me either because they changed my room. <laughs> and, uh, so it's been kind of a bit strange. And also, I have been sunburnt as well, which isn't ideal way to start the holiday but there you go and of course the cabin that is the noisiest cabin i've ever been in although it does seem to have settled down because i haven't really heard anything uh, since i've been in here so that's pretty cool but yeah guys that's going to bring us to the end of day one technically is day two because it's pushing on 1 a.m at the moment but we're going to say it's still day one on board the piano azura